Morning, Wes. So we're uh, in the new gym, eh? Yes, we are, mate. Good to be back. Good to be back in. Excited for this pre-season, uh, especially now that we've got this new gym in, like you say. Uh, it's lovely, mate. Mate, it's a lovely, lovely bit of kit. We've got plenty in there. And big thanks to Aliko for sorting us out, eh? Yeah, mate. Massive thank you to Aliko. Those guys were great. They've come in. They've helped us massively transform this gym to what it is now. And yeah, boys are loving it. They've come in. They're excited by it. It's a new gym, new atmosphere. Um, it's brilliant. It's awesome. Yeah, and I mean, that kind of... We kind of felt that energy last coming in on the first Friday back where we were straight into testing and like being in a facility like this is just so much better, isn't it? Oh, mate. Again, it makes a massive difference. Boys come in and see this and automatically the intent to train, the want to train is there. It's increased. It's, it's fantastic. And, and having the facility here is, is, is just awesome. It's, it's within the training grounds. We're not traveling here, there, everywhere to get to what we need to do. But it's brilliant. And again... You're talking about testing, we've got boys coming in, pushing the limits, they're pushing each other in this new environment, new space. It's brilliant, mate, it's brilliant. And being on like a part-time basis, having this on site, like the, the ability for boys to just come and go where they need and be flexible, but also have like the high standard is, is really useful as well. We obviously, we have that really good partnership with Roco over there, but boys can now utilize that for what we really want it for. And that's kind of our recovery side of things as well, isn't it? Yeah, 100%, mate. Listen, we're a part-time environment, but that doesn't mean that we can't be as professional as we as we can be. We're trying to drive the standards. We're trying to drive the professionalism of the club as much as we can. Just again, just because we're part time doesn't mean that we can't be as professional as possible. So having this facility here is awesome. And again, we still go to Roco. We still use those facilities. We go to Home Pierpont. Like it, it's fantastic. Like those guys are brilliant. They have us in all the time. We bring a little bit of energy down there. It's awesome, man. Yeah, it's class, mate. I and mean, I think having that mix and balance is really good for the players as well. We keep it fresh, don't we? We're always oh, yeah, doing yeah. new stuff, which I think is kind of building towards that atmosphere that we're building on pitch as well. I think that's been a reflection of what we're doing in here as well, isn't it? 100%, mate. Yeah, we again, the atmosphere in here is fantastic, but we get out onto that pitch and it's just loud. It's energy, it's noise, it's everything that we want out of the boys. It, it's been brilliant. It's um, going and going again, isn't it? Yeah, we go, we go again. We, we're trying to push the boys on the field, in the gym. We're trying to keep up with the demands of the game, demands of the championship. So we're putting the boys in some dark places. We're asking them to go places they wouldn't normally go. We're pushing them hard. Um, it's good to see some of the new boys coming in and ripping straight into it. They're, they're getting really involved. They're bringing a lot of energy, a lot of atmosphere. It, it, it's, it's been a great start. It's been a great week. Yeah. yeah, and we're looking forward. We're building now. We're looking forward to the season launch next weekend. I just spoke to Hamo, which you guys were the scene yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we're really looking forward to that season launch. Yeah, I think you're going to put on a bit of a masterclass in terms of putting the boys in a dark place in front oh, of all mate, the fans. It's going to be a little bit spicy in that session, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we've got some good stuff planned. Um, again, we'll be building on what we've done this week. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be good to see as many fans down as, as possible and sponsors and, and anybody that wants to get down, bring your kids down, there's plenty to do. It, it, it's going to be a fantastic day. Yeah. And just touching on some of the stuff that's going on off the pitch, and I think you'll, you'll back me up on this, is kind of involving yourself, involving all the parts of the teams that we now have, more involved in that one sort of one club. Uh, identity that we've now got and we're really pushing that towards with the fans so like you, yourself you've now got like a new sponsor for yourself as well yeah. and we've all all the staff have got sponsors all the players have got sponsors we're just really trying to drive that identity in that one club aren't we 100 percent, mate. yeah and again we've brought in people we've brought in the right coaches um, we've got ben here we've got matt burks our video analyst uh, we've got those boys that have come on board and they're also driving the standards of the club Again, you spoke about it being a one club togetherness, all that stuff, and it shows on the field with the co-coaching, with the players driving the session, the players driving each other. Um, it's awesome, and we again, we want to we want to bring the fans in and get them involved as close as we can to that. So having those sponsors on board, having the fans around us, especially next week for the season launch, it, it's going to be massive, and it'll be a massive motivator for the boys as well when they're in next week. Hundred percent, mate. Lovely, Jack. Cheers for that, buddy. Cheers, mate.